So one thing I want to address today are extremities, your legs, your arms, your hands, your feet. As a chiropractor, I see problems in these issues in these areas all the time. People come in with ankle issues, they come in with wrist issues, carpal tunnel, things like ankle immobility, all these things as a chiropractor, what we're looking at is we're looking at joints. We're making sure that joints are moving the way that God intended them to move. What happens is, whether it's due to old injuries, whether it's due to irregular stresses that we put on our body, our joints, our bones can get things called subluxations, which is when those joints, those bones shift out of place just very minutely very 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 small not a total luxation like a dislocation but those bones can rotate they can move out of place and that puts a tremendous amount of stress on that joint and a lot of times you won't feel that stress on that joint until you've used it over and over and over and over again and it sat there for months and, and at times even years to where that joint's just been wearing and tearing irregularly until you start to develop a symptom as a chiropractor what I'm doing is whether it's the foot whether it's the knee whether whether it's the wrist, the ankle, the elbow, the shoulder, we're looking at those joints, making sure that, that they're moving appropriately the way they're supposed to. And when they are not, we adjust them back into alignment so your body can start to heal around that the same way we would with your spine. We want to make sure everything around there, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, they don't have the pressure on them. If you have a bone in your foot that's misaligned and it's causing you issues, you can do all the muscle work on it. You can do all the stretching, but until that bone is replaced, until it's realigned into proper position, the stress is not going to come off the ligaments, it's not going to come off the muscles, it's not going to come off the tendons in that area, and a lot of times even the nerves, if there's burning, numbness, tingling, anything like that, that stress isn't going to come off until we regain normal motion in that joint and normal proper location of that bone in that foot or ankle or wherever we're talking about. This is one of the big things a lot of times in practice we'll take care of somebody for a really long time and then learn that they do have a foot issue or they do have an ankle issue issue or they do have a wrist issue and we start adjusting it and it starts getting better. So I wanted to, a lot of people don't know that as a chiropractor, we can take care of these areas. So if you ever have an issue in any of these areas, you mention it to me, you let me know, you mention it to your chiropractor so that you can get a gentle adjustment in that area and make sure that we realign those bones, taking pressure off those joints. Now saying that I will never adjust a foot, an ankle, a knee, a wrist without looking at the spine first. This is one of the most important things. We look Look at the spine first. And the reason is, in order for any foot to get better, in order for any fingers, hands, wrists for to actually get better, it needs a full-on nerve supply from your brain. If the muscles in your wrist, the muscles in your forearm, the muscles in your arm do not have a full nerve supply from your brain, they are not going to hold those bones, the joints in proper orientation because they don't have that full nerve supply. The proprioceptors have pressure. The proprioceptors let your body know where it is in space space, that's very, very important that the pressure is off the central nervous system prior to taking care of an extremity. It's very, very common when people have a lot of knee issues or ankle issues or foot issues that there's a lot of pressure in that lower back. And those nerves coming out of that lower back are going all the way down the legs, they're going into the feet, they're going into the ankles. And if those nerves have pressure on them and they're not communicating with the muscles, the joint capsules correctly, then it's going to hold those joint capsules, the proprioceptive motion motion <clears throat> that goes to the brain, the brain back down talking to the body and, and talking to the body and coordinating with the body how those joints are supposed to be oriented, how those joints are supposed to respond. Those nerve pathways need to be clear prior to, to, to the joint being corrected or else your body's never going to hold that adjustment. It's never going to actually hold that correction, so especially when we're athletes. I, I want to speak directly to athletes now. And I have said this in the past. I look at all my patients as athletes. Some people, that they cook for their sports. Some people play baseball or football. Some people sit at a desk. Some people, we all have a different degree of things that we're doing, athletic activity that we're doing. I'd like you to be doing more athletic activity, but whatever it is, as an athlete, as, as somebody who plays sports regularly, where you have to make quick decisions and your body has to change on a dime. You think about a running back. You think about a basketball player who's cutting, who's moving in and out. What's happening very, very quickly is there's nerve signals from your brain going down into your legs, going down into these individual joints that stabilizes these joints. A lot of times when you see these freak injuries where it doesn't look like anybody's touched you, where, it, where, where things don't look, it looks irregular, irrational. We've all seen it on TV where somebody goes down 
down with an injury that, that they've done a million times and all of a sudden they go down. A lot of times that's due, due to an incoordination between the brain and the body and, and that neurofeedback of your body being able to recognize where it is in space, where it is in time, and brace the proper areas, restrict the proper areas, and allow your body to go through motion the way it's intended to go through motion, even at a high pace. That's why we will always check the central nervous system. We will always check those peripheral nerves, take the pressure off those joints as much as we can prior to dealing with an extremity, prior to dealing with a knee, a foot, and ankle. We want to make sure those areas are getting proper nerve flow, and that starts at the top, the brain, down through the spinal cord, even through those vertebrae in the lower back, down your legs. That's of utmost importance. I will never look at a foot, a knee, an ankle without first assessing the nervous system. I hope that, I hope if you guys have any questions about this, you let me know. I hope this opens somebody's eyes. If you do have any of these issues, you let me know, and we can start working on it. Hope this provides a tremendous amount of value. I have a feeling there's a lot of people that are going to get a lot of value out of this, and I'm going to be hearing a lot about extremity issues we have going on that we need to start addressing. So hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys soon.